Good morning everyone! Welcome back to day nine of Vlogmas. I don't know why I'm so surprised every time I say the day, but I always am. Anyway, another show vlog today, and although I'm not yet late, just feel at my bones that I'm going to be, um, we're taking Jam Bam show jumping. I'm not going to film too much this morning on account of firstly, probably will be late. Secondly, oh my goodness, you look like a drowned rat literally just been bathed and you're so grubby. Uh, there's going to be four show jumping rounds today because we're going to be jump training, which I will explain more about when, uh, when we're on the way. But yeah, basically it's going to be four show jumping rounds. That's a lot of, a lot of jumpies. Sorry, guys, I've left my brush out here and not need it. So I figured I won't bore you with too much of this stuff in the morning. Anyway, let's roll that intro and get plotting. bubbling over. She can't wait, she loves show jumping. Also, <laughs> I cut a mane this morning, guys, in a hurry. And we've actually cut some Helsinki steps into it, which is gorgeous. Beautiful, a little bit of detailing there, which is nice. Right, I'm gonna to attempt to plait some tinsel into her mane, because you know, when you're late, it's always a good thing to do. Anyway, let's get going. That'll really cheer Jam up. Oh, see Jam, there's gonna be some Christmas cheer. Right, I better get going. Yeah. Okay guys, done the first plat. The tinsel's not looking great. <laughs> I don't know how to plat it in. I've kind of got this like 3D effect here. I mean, it does hide all magnitude of sins with the plaits, so that's a bonus. Maybe I'll have some tinsel at badminton. <laughs> all right, continue. Guys, this looks ridiculous. <laughs> it's just even funnier that Jam's literally like so unimpressed. <laughs> oh, this doesn't look like how I wanted it to look. I thought it was gonna be really pretty. <laughs> it just looks Spiky, doesn't it, Jam? You're really annoyed. I think you look really cute, Bam. Yeah? See, there we go. Oh dear, this is embarrassing. Right, to the forelock. Okie dokie, it's time to clear up my tinsel mess. I don't really know how I've done such a rubbish job of that. My vision was really quite spectacular, but it has not come to light. Also, look how funny her forelock is. <laughs> She looks like how mum would dress me when I did the school nativity when I was like three. And she would just put tin foil over my head to make me look a bit Christmassy. That was your costume, wasn't it, mum? Wow. Okie dokie. So, tack in. I've got my gorgeous Fold Hair Designs Essential Mono Flap Saddle. I think we're all sorted. Get a pony. No. And then go. As you guys have probably come aware, I'm running late. Okay, right, treats. Oh my god, how adorbs. Oh my god. Ah! Completely nearly forgot my sunglasses. Embarrassing. Let's go. Work with the cap. It's like not completely a vibe, which is annoying because I thought about this look. Chrono! Chrono! We're all going on a Christmas horsey holiday. 
Go on. Go on. <laughs> hey, what do you think of the tinsel? What, the tinsel and jam? Oh, yeah. I'm not sure she likes it, but. Ah. I quite wasn't like actually, it. Wasn't actually my question, Peter. It's quite Christmassy. Oh, freak out. Right, let's go, guys. Look at this show on the road. Go, Jeff. Alright, Meg. Right, Meg, put this up and you can go and wash your hands. Mum, you shot at me, I've just had a... <laughs> I just fell over. <laughs> my brand new car. Oh, I love it. Look at the stomp on you. Oh, don't do that. I've had a fall and I've hurt my hand a little bit. I scuffed it, but guys, look at this. Welcome to the pizzeria. That's Elphic bread. pizzeria. Yeah, but it's a pizza style bread, isn't it? Look, so last night when we were packing merch, we got pizzas and we didn't eat them all. Ham and pineapple on the pizza, a personal fave. Comment down below if you think pineapple belongs on pizza. Or if you think mine looks more appetizing, which was a ragu. Mum got a beef ragu yeah. with something else that ends in Oza and Gorgonzola. Oh, yeah, it was very nice. There was nice. a lot of Oza. It was very, very nice. Anyway, we're going to tap out. Pete, you actually ate all of yours last night, <laughs> so... Pete, I'm going to share mine with you. There you go. Nice. Unfortunately, you are going to go hungry, I'm afraid. Peace out. See you in a bit, guys. Peter, you were saying how you can't eat ham and pineapple last night, and you just took that, yeah, well, and you stuffed it in your gob. I have no pizza to eat, so now I'm eating yours. You are unbelievable. Pizza, please. <laughs> Pete. Pizza, please. Pete, try that pizza, honestly. Or do you not like the sound of the gold? No, no, I do. I, you've only got two slices. No, 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 honestly, it's Look fine. at this, guys. Mum's trying to flog this pizza. It does look quite nice. Pete, you've got to have it so that we can do mutual appreciation of the pizza. Yeah, right, plus, come on, we've watched a pizza eat. Just take a little. <laughs> take, Ooh, take a whole slice of pizza. Look I'll look have some. Wow. we we'll get there later. Go on, then. Like chowing that? down the last one. <laughs> Up to PT, so I sure I did do the intro. Um, I've actually forgotten the song, but this is basically the segment of the show where Pete will eat something and he'll just rate it. I I named it because that's quite clever. Come on then. You did, did you? Yeah. Oh. It's definitely better than the Hawaiian one. Okay. That's for sure. Yeah, I like this one. Any flavours coming through? Any particular? The beef. The beef. Shocking on a beef ragu. Yeah, well, we're going to rate it. Compared to the wine or just in no, no, out of 10, out of 10. Come on. 7.7. Oh, quite a high rating, Mum. Interesting. Right, tune in next time, guys. Hi, okie dokie. We're back, guys. Pizza's gone. There is a slice of uh, garlic bread going. Anyone wants it? No. Little explanation of where we're going today. We're taking Jammy, as you should already know, and we're going jump training, which is a winter series that British Venting do and basically they do it at 80, 90 and 100 and you go in, you actually get, you can do a course walk with a trainer, we're running late so we're going to miss that, um, and then you get warmed up by someone and they'll give you some tips and then you go in, you jump a first round of show jumping and then you go into the middle and there's a little judge there, they don't have to be little, it can be, <laughs> there's a judge there and they will give you some tips on your round and then you jump another round trying to take their tips on board and both rounds are marked on kind of like style and riding technique hence why I don't normally do that well at these kind of things um, but you also get marked on how you improve based on what they've said so if they're like Meg stop yanking her teeth out and then I do stop yanking her teeth out like you'll get some marks for improvement so it all just makes us happy and we learn and we love it don't we guys? We haven't done one for a while, but we did used to, I mean, they're very useful, aren't they? Do you know what? I did just say I wasn't regular it, but you're looking at the 2015 champion at the 90. That's true. Jump train. Got still a rug, still got nice a rug to rug. prove it. Yeah, that was, that was when I had a really, really nice little done pony who did everything for me. Anyway, those days have gone. So today I'm doing the 90 and the 100, which means I'm doing four rounds. And I've got photographer Pete, sorry, nutritionist Pete. 
who is going to take some photos. We've got videographer Hobbit here riding up front. She's going to do some videoing. So that's kind of where we're at at the minute. Another little segment we've got with Peter um, is what's it called? Professor Professor, Professor Pete's Perfect Facts. We're still working on the name. It's a work in progress. Um, but Pete isn't actually a, a nutritionist by by day. He is a geologist. I mean, people thought I was joking for ages when I said that, uh, but that is the truth. And he's got a Christmassy themed geology fact for us. So you just take it away, there, Pete. We were basically talking about um, Father Christmas and his journey around the world, weren't we? Yeah, that's right, yeah. And I said to Pete, I wondered how far Father Christmas travelled on Christmas Eve. And Pete, very kindly, what, what is the, the distance? Of well, I can't say distance he travels, but he does travel around the Earth, which is about 40,000 kilometres. Way. But then he has to go up and down all around, doesn't he? So oh, he's, he, he oh, he's, rocks up the miles. He's getting a lot more miles than that in the yeah, sleigh, but, but oh, that's not actually as much as I thought well, it was going to be. 40,000 kilometres. Yeah. Yeah, actually, that's true, all the way around the Earth. Walk it in a day, can you? <laughs> I've seen your pace. <laughs> Tell us something about the North Pole, where he actually comes from, Pete. <laughs> you must yeah, go on. Bit. Go on, Pete, tell us a thing. Pete, you told me that the North Pole is actually over the, the sea. Yeah, it's over the right? Arctic, Arctic Sea, Arctic Ocean. So will it be icy at the moment? Very icy. Very icy. Yeah. Well, hopefully. Hopefully, yeah. Or Father Christmas. This is the weirdest segment ever. Um, <laughs> Anything else of interest to add, Pete? Um, Go on, Pete, tell us about the sinkholes. <laughs> <laughs> I can't talk about that. All right, over and out, guys. That's enough. That's enough <laughs> learning with Pete today. Tune in next time for some more geology facts. Woo! Oh, oh my word, that's bumpy. Sorry. Sorry, sorry. I wasn't expecting it to be quite no, so that abrupt. really was aggressive, wasn't it? Yeah, it doesn't look it, does it, Pete? <laughs> <laughs> As the speed bump expert, uh, that was. Uh, yeah, when you are a geologist, it's made of rock to be fair. Yeah, it's deceptive. I'll approach that one with more caution. And that is the idea of the bump. Well, I had to slow it down. I was the one speeding. We'll do a speed test with the video footage. <laughs> <laughs> We've made it. Wow, look at that go. Incredible. See you in a second. Right, we're just going to see if we've missed the course walk or not. Because we're not actually that late. I'll show you guys how it It's lovely around here. It's like a bit Hartbury College, for anyone that doesn't know it. A big equestrian college with beautiful facilities. Also where I came and did the interview for my Bicton presenting job and said the wrong name. So good vibes here. crowds aren't there. All right, about to get on. Give us a wave! I've got some <laughs> amazing helpers! Because I'm running late, shock horror. Um, and yeah, Mum and I are having to do stuff. They're very kindly holding jam bam for me. Thanks guys. Thanks, right, I think we're good to go. Where are you going? Down there? Down here, yeah. Oh You'll my god. All right. You can go, it's a grass better. <laughs> well, I don't know, I might slip. <laughs> I'm right. the prize, Pete, come on. I'm trying. <laughs> oh, wait, which side are you going? I don't know, it's muddy, it was going to avoid it. Sorry, this isn't the best place to do this. Anyway, we're heading down now. There's like a little horse walk to get down. Oh my god, they've built another indoor. Wow. Incredible. Uh, yeah, so we're going down to warm up. I think there's, a, there's like a bit with no jumps that you warm up and then you get help for the warm up jump a bit. I've got my beautiful Voltaire Design Essential Monoflap saddle on, guys. Stay tuned because Voltaire Design are the lovely, very generous sponsor for this video. I'm literally about to be in the arena, so I'm gonna have to tell you about the giveaway prize when I come out, but it's a good one. He's just going to have a walk around because Jamie's not done a lot indoors. In fact, I don't think she's ever competed indoors, so it's quite nice for her to just have a 
little play around. and um, let her get used to the arena. She seems pretty chilled at the moment. Let's spend some more, guys. Took the jam bit by surprise. stride this. Oh, the go jam. Well done. It was a very long one stride, guys. And um, I was concerned Jan might try and get two in. That's better than making using more of the arena, I feel. We're back after a short trial, uh, chat with the trainer. Um, not entirely sure what was said, but uh, we'll see how this goes. A more active counter I did here. We need to travel a bit more. Let's zoom in. with Maggie. How was that uh, then? Jam was really good and the judge really liked her. Good. Nice job with her, it was good. good. Um, but yeah, so she did a clear the first round but then second round, the double stride was just really, really long so it caught us out a bit and we had the second part down because she tried to put two in it but we weren't short enough to do long enough. No. Um, but no, very positive. And Lots of good comments good and comments. good advice. Yeah, and she's giving me some good tips, like things to do at home is good some exercises so we'll go home and do those uh, but yeah jamie's gonna have a little chill now before the hundred it's gone quite sweaty it was quite warm in there actually wasn't it yeah when it was under the lights okay so i've just finished my two 90 rounds but i thought now would be a good opportunity to tell you about the wonderful giveaway prize for today's video so i already told you it's with my amazing sponsor fault Air design you can see me cradling my saddle here actually put that away Whoops, safely in there. So I've been riding in these beautiful Voltaire Designs saddles since early this year and they have made the biggest difference to my horses. I cannot rate them enough. They are so comfortable to ride in. So much research has gone into the design of these saddles and they really do have the horse's welfare in mind. They are absolutely incredible, honestly. Can I rate them enough? So up for grabs today, we have a beautiful white Voltaire Designs Numna, as well as a goodie bag and also a 50 pound voucher. It's UK only this giveaway and you need to head over to my Instagram. You guys know the drill, it runs for 24 hours. So hurry, hurry, hurry and make sure you're following myself and Voltaire Designs. 
lovely, lovely giveaway, and the numbers are so smart. So, highly recommend. Head over to Instagram, and let's see how I jump in the hundred. Getting ready for the hundred. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> Good girl. She rode him really nicely. I'm not sure how she feels about jumping around it again. Oh, guys, we are going again. It's like Derby. Finished the hundred. Did, was she clear in the first one? I didn't. Yeah. She, I think she was. She clocked the first she clocked bit. Really the double. Yeah. But I don't think it came down. Um, yeah. And no, I basically rode the first round, a bit terrified because I was like, Oh my god, I'm doing hundred. And last two times she's done hundred. Is it the last two times? Yeah. 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 Last two times she's it's been gone tricky. Pretty horrendously wrong. Are you, am I even? Hello. <laughs> you should feel me like the floor then. I'm gonna concentrate my walking. <laughs> but yeah, no. So she finished the first round strong. But then the trainer was like, you just need to let her, like, you finished it really well, but, like, start it how you finished it and just move her on. Basically, More committed. If, yeah, she was like, if you start with that small canter, which is a nice canter, but then you take away from that, like, because I'm, I'm, I like to be able to, you know, like, Micro see my stride. Every stride. Yeah, she's like, once you take away from that, then she's got nothing. Like, she's got no way of getting over bigger fences. Um, so, yeah, she's like, pretend they're cross-country fences, go more forward, and... It was a lot better and I did still have to take pools places but I had a better canter to come back to. Um, so yeah, she did two clears, which I'm really chuffed with. So you're very happy. Very, very happy and yeah, I've got stuff to work on to go away, which is good. And she was a really good girl, wasn't she? I'm just really pleased I've actually jumped 100 now because it was like <laughs> playing on my mind. I was like, oh my God, I can't jump 100 anymore. But she, she really, really chuffed. She made them look easy, actually. She does, and she makes them feel easy. Like, yeah. even when she gets them deep, she still gets out. Yeah. Of it, but it's just... And that second, I mean, she rode that double really nicely yeah. with the longer, long it's, stride. It's all, like, up here, and then obviously yeah. it affects her when I'm nervous and, like, being too, like, oh, wait. Yeah. And she's too little to wait. She's got to go. <laughs> I've got to go, Mum. I'm tiny. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Well Very done, pleased. both of you. I'm glad I did it, because there's a big part of me that wanted to withdraw and hot on line. <laughs> Yay! So, confidence giving round. Yeah. Yeah. yeah worth definitely. a trip out. Definitely. <laughs> oh, 
right. on the taxi so and catch get up in the lorry. Hey, little donkey donut, come on. Oh, look at that. Do you like one here? Because I've got another one you can have on the top of the ramp. <laughs> I love how she's rejected the food, but she was like, that I'll have. She that. rejected a real carrot. <laughs> come on then, baby. Let's get you, home. get you home. Get you home, sweetheart. <laughs> Good girl. Hi. Good girly. Come on. Good girl. Good girl, baby. We've got scores on the doors. Peter's. To make changes, so. It was I'm about my, my boyfriend. Need to make changes. <laughs> I mean, nutritionist. <laughs> Can they tell mum the score? 38. That's pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> no, you've got 24. That's Can better. Much yeah. better. Woohoo! Oh. Fun! Oh. oh no, I can't lift it. Peter! Oh. <laughs> stuck. Muscle man, mum, we need to buy you a belt for Christmas. <laughs> Santa, if you're watching. Oh, oh. oh my god, he's so strong! Right, bye, bums. You can take that rope up. Hello! You are so good! I love you, goodbye. I'll see you at home quickly. What about me? I'm not ready to say it to you yet. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Is it Pete, you just filmed them? Yeah, yeah, don't worry, I've got... Two women, what do you have in there? Three! Oh, oh yeah. Filthy! Oh, ew! Pete, you've got a job for me. Me? I'm pretty busy next week, isn't it? Not really watching. <laughs> Get away from me. Right, where are the car keys? Right, let's go home. Okay! We're back in the lorry. Pete's there. Mum's there, and I'm here. Scratch oh, I think I need to get a jingle, a jingle whiter in because my jingles aren't on fire. So, a positive experience was had by all today, especially Peter. You really enjoyed it. Love the food. Am I nicer when I go show jumping than when I go venting? How how would you rate your experience with me as a girlfriend today? Today was probably the best outing we've had. Horse uh -huh. You've only been on this in your second one. No, is it? Well, that, we, that I've been competing. Because do you not remember after we went to Lady like Manic and then you said you're never coming with me again? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and here I am. <laughs> but wasn't I nice today? today? Yeah, well, it wasn't very stressful. It was a nice, relaxing environment. I don't um, find this as stressful because I don't. I'm, I'm here for the training rather than, like, yeah. it's uh, not a results thing. I marched around the cross country course. Yeah, and I was scared of them jumps as well, so I was being extra mean. <laughs> okay, so quite a, quite a positive experience for you. Yeah, I'll come to all the indoor ones again next time. Okay, deal. All right. Mum, you had a good day? Yep, it was a good day. Very happy with um, Jammy and with you, actually, so that was all good. Good experience yeah. with, um, with from like from a daughter's point just, of view today? Can I just ask if I'm turning right here? Uh, uh, sure. What, into the petrol station? Oh, the one up the petrol station. Right, you've got point 0.4 of a yeah, mile. Yeah, you're bearing right. So you're bearing right. Wait, not is it here, no. <laughs> Wait, is it here? No, it's not here. No. <laughs> it's not here. See what I've got with you guys. It's a little bit longer, Mum, right? We should probably get petrol there because it's a lot cheaper. <laughs> but no, you're going to take us to the expensive one. And I'm going to have to pick up the bill. Anyway, sorry guys. Um, yeah, a really good day. And I'm so glad that I actually stayed to do the 100 because, as I said, last last season well the season we just had didn't end particularly well <laughs> sorry this this right turning has just been like the most apprehensive thing ever we were all when we got headlines on the note of seatbelts I know people are going to get upset because I think I've not got one on but the middle seat has a lap belt which can't see it because I'm all cosy in my coat uh yeah what I was saying this season didn't end particularly well in terms of show jumping as you guys will remember western <laughs> where it got eliminated so it literally couldn't have gone any worse um, and it was at 100 rather than at 90 and it started to build this fun little complex in my brain that when I sleep just went to town and just made me really scared of jumping 100 fences out competing not at home like I'm fine jumping bigger than that at home but yeah it's just been a bit of a worry um, 
So I was quite nervous to do the 100, especially as it, it was in a small, tight, or well, I say small, but like a tight indoor arena though. It was quite like the turns came up, the fence came up fast off the turns. Um, but very pleased I did it and even more pleased to have had two clear rounds and got quite good scores. We've got our, our thingy here. We got 24 in this class. And I think, when did we get the first one? 33. 33 yeah, so with a pole, the pole with the but I didn't do yeah. the pole. But no, we ended our second round with quite a few eights, as you can see there, and some really useful notes. Yeah, mainly the to... notes are um, do much better next time, really, and needs practice. Lots of lessons needed. Yeah, lots. It doesn't say one or two, it says several. Thanks, Pete. <laughs> uh, but no, it was really good to actually get out and just be a bit braver. It definitely helped jumping the two rounds in the 100, because you'll see, I'm sure the footage will show, the first round I didn't really start riding until the last few fences. Like I was worried about the double because it was so long um, and that kind of kicked me, kicked my bum into gear. And then the second round, I just felt so much more confident from the start and it really showed. And I just need to try and start all of my rounds like that. So that is the plan, but very, very pleased. Glad we came. Peter's glad we came. Make sure you don't forget about the Voltaire Designs giveaway, guys! Whoop, whoop. You're going to be getting a goodie bag, a beautiful white number. They are really, really smart. I absolutely love mine. And also a £50 voucher to spend on the Voltaire Designs website. So you can treat yourself. So head over to my Instagram to enter that. They are absolutely incredible. You guys know how much I love Voltaire Design. They've honestly completely changed the way my horses go and the way I ride. I feel so secure in their saddles. They are absolutely incredible. Cannot recommend them enough. So do head over to my Instagram to enter that and visit the Voltaire Designs website if you're looking for a lovely saddle or if you'd like to chat to one of their saddle specialists, they can come out and do a fitting for you. And you can also order their saddles online if you know the measurements and they'll come out and do a fitting or you can have a fitting and find out the measurements and then literally order it and it'll come to you and fit your horse or pony. So yeah, go and check them out. But other than that, maybe give the video a like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell and look forward to the next edition of Pete's Eats slash Pete's Professor... Professor Can't get the title. Pete's Professor Perfect Tips. I think it's too long. I think it was facts the first time, not tips. We're working. If anyone can come up with a better title, we love alliteration or rhyme. Um, Pete, you said you've got a fun geological fact to sign us out, so you just go ahead. I did not say that. You, did, uh, you literally said it before I pressed start. You, yes, went, you went, Meg, please throw to me at the end so I can say this fact that I've got. Do you remember? And you're like, it's really good. It's about rocks. Just tell them about the, the fossils you found. <laughs> Heartbreak. That's you not found going in. Pete found no. some squid fossils. No. Were they squid? Oh, oh. sorry. <laughs> Should I click? Yeah. Sure. Get rid of this. You've not got a fat. No, I don't. <laughs> Can you name a, a rock type? <laughs> Sedimentary. There you go, there's one. Kraken. Do you got know what's the other one? Because you know that's, that's it. Metamorphic and igneous. Metamorphic, right. Metamorphic, igneous. Oh. You just I've got my one now. Sedimentary. Yeah, Sounds like dinosaur. No, you're really cool. I think you're cool. I think they're squids. Alright. <laughs> live love love you. Bye! Bye guys, see you soon. Guys! The squid fossils are called bellamites. I just didn't want to say it on camera. Okay, bye. Last minute update guys. We came second in the hundred! We're now off to the pub. To sink some shandies. Look at that, it looks weird with the cap on. You're having shandy? Ooh. All right.